All right. All right, so silver is a little trickier. So silver is, um, and it's, it's trickier because especially if it's, it's coming from Europe, if it's antique. So what you're looking for is the word sterling or the number 925. So sterling is 92 and a half percent silver or 925 parts per thousand silver. So when you have silver jewelry, it usually says 925 instead of sterling, but it's the same exact thing. Sterling is 92 and a half percent silver. Um, what else can you be looking for? You could look for the word silver on the bottom of an item. So if you see a word and it says silver, that means the item is silver. Now, if it comes from Europe or if it's antique, you might see a different number. You might see 800, 900, 835. Uh, from Scandinavia, it says 813H. So what do those numbers mean? That means 835 parts per thousand, 900 parts per thousand. So not quite sterling, but very close. So if you see 800, 835, 900, chances are very good that that is a silver item. Uh, you're also looking, and I have uh, the next slide gives a little bit more detail. You're looking for things like a lion, and it's a side profile of a lion. You're looking for a panther, a king, or a queen hallmark. Uh, you're also looking for an eagle or the word coin. So this, uh, let's see here. I got to admit it in person. Okay, there we go. So if you remember this uh, silver pocket watch that I showed you earlier, when I open it up, it actually says coin on the inside. So coin silver is 90% silver, just like the old coinage. The old silver coinage that we used to have was 90% silver as well. So these will give you uh, ideas of images. So on the lower right, the very bottom lower right picture, you see that uh, eagle, that means coin silver. So if you're looking at, and you know, uh, and we're talking about things like flatware and candelabras and, you know, thing, you know, little uh, tea sets, big tea sets, things like that. This is what you're really looking for, these, this wording. Now, if you look at some of these other hallmarks, you see a full body of a lion. And it's the profile of the lion. And in some of these images, you know, the lion is slightly different shape. One of them, you see that the lion's looking at you. The other ones, he's looking sideways. So that lion means sterling. And the lion was different country by country. So the lion in Germany was different than the one in England, was different than the one in Denmark. And so, but they all, all the silversmiths use that lion. Now you'll also see, let's look at that upper left picture. You see a panther, so a fierce looking panther. That also means sterling. When you see the profile of a king or a queen, now I guarantee you when that silver was made in England in 1872, they knew exactly who the king and the queen were. And when they saw that uh, item that came from the silversmith, they knew that it was sterling because it's got the king or the queen on it. Now this item actually happens to have, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, Unfortunately, the focus, there we go. Aha. Uh -huh. So there you should be able to see the lion if you can get up close, look at the video. Now, the last thing that you see on the hallmark where you see that N in that shield shape, and then below that you see an E in a shield, that letter in that shape will tell you the year of the item. So all the silversmiths in London got together every year. They knew exactly what symbol they were gonna use for that year. So if it was 1855, and, and they knew they were using the N in that shape. Now, the way that worked, though, is they didn't have to get together every year because the next year it would be O in that same shape. So until they get through the entire alphabet, they knew they're using that shape. And then every subsequent year, they just moved down the, the letter of the alphabet. So kind of cool. And you could look that up you know, on the Internet as you're looking up silver hallmarks. You can really uh, try to find um, the, uh, the hallmark for you know, what year is that item.